do some viscom in VR. I'm sorry, augmented reality. What are they calling it? Let me try doing. Um, I already have an image. I'm gonna try putting my photo of myself. Okay, will that work? There we go. And oh, I didn't. I thought I did it that size. Okay, let's try. We'll just do a uh, refinement. And we'll say robot wearing Apple Vision Pro. Now oh, I should have checked the, the drawing influence up a little bit. We'll see what we get right here. Man, <laughs> what the hell? That's interesting. So, this one a little bit bigger. And move this down. So let's go here, and we're going to like back and forth. It's interesting how it. It's interesting. All right, let's cancel. Let's take the drawing influence. Up a little higher and see what we get. Huh. That's not a robot, and it's just trying to take me. Hmm. Let's cancel that. Let's uh, try taking this way down. Let's see what happens. I hope this come out crisp. I tried doing a screen recording before and it was looking pretty dim, but hopefully this will be. I'm trying to stand pretty close to the, the window here. <laughs> uh, this is not working. It's not what I want. Cancel. Um, hmm. Why isn't it saying working right? Let's try render. And let's try cyber cell. Hmm. Doesn't look like a robot. can't wait for the hand tracking to detect when I'm actually rotating. I'm holding on to something and I want to rotate it on the y-axis, but that's not working. Yeah, I don't understand why this is, this is not a robot. It's interesting, but it's not a robot. I'll hit, uh, we'll save it. Hmm. What if I get rid of, maybe it doesn't know App version Pro yet. I should have actually robot in VR. Hey, no. Interesting, I don't know why it's doing that. It should be giving a robot. Also, this guy's fingers are freaky long. Cancel. Let's, um... Let's see 
that does. That looks closer to me. Oh, shoot. You have to look and click. <laughs> Some of those things are... If I look, if I gaze off... Yeah. Hmm. Maybe because the input is my face, it's it's uh it's too close to a face. I think the drawing influence down. I don't know if that's gonna matter or not. There we go. Interesting, but you can see the shape right there. Let's uh, save it to the layer, but then cancel. Let's take this up a little bit higher. That's pretty cool. But the hand's all screwed up right there. But that's kind of interesting. Um, I'll hit confirm on that one. Let's do... Uh, huh. Let's go to layers. Let's take this, these off. I can't do the pin. I can't do the pinch. I can do click and hold. Yep, that kind of works. I need some haptic feedback though. This is where I want to have like a ring or like fingertip, fingertip uh, haptic sensors. All right, let's go back to this one now and then we'll go back and just say refine robot in VR. We'll take this down. I'll keep it up like right there and try that one. Now, why is that? That's not turning me into a robot. No. Let's try that. No, I'm not liking that. It's not doing what I want. So, why did it go? I did this one. Hmm. Hmm. I set my, uh, two-finger pinch to zoom, which is pretty cool. I wish I could just do this, like on the iPad, and then two-finger, three-finger swipe. That's why it'd be kind of cool to have some kind of haptic feedback. Maybe Apple Pencil 3? That would be cool. I can draw on this screen. Um, let's go back to refine on this one.
See, now I don't want to go in and start drawing this, but yeah, it's going to be a pain in the butt to try to draw on this. Because I don't have any... Let's see, can I click on that and I click there? Okay, and then we go back here. And if I wanted to go here and like paint this out, I can sort of do it. Yeah, that's under the precision. This is where I need something more precise than my finger. Sorry, but Steve Jobs, when you said the best point of advice you have is your finger, he was not thinking about using it to create. Sorry. Uh, so we're gonna take this down. I mean, this will take forever. And plus, my hand's already getting sore. Fatigued, having to face up like this. I'm just kind of paint this out. This is where I usually rely on the sh keyboard shortcuts, but mm. all right, let's try that. Cool. Hmm. Shoot, I didn't want to do that. Let's do another one. Let's take it down a little bit. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Totally different, but interesting. Like, definitely, I would redraw in here. Yes, yeah, so I want to draw it with. Let's um, try to define this mandible. Ah, so I need a, give me Apple Pencil 3 with tactile feedback, please. Uh, let's try that. Yeah, where's that smush tool at? Did they, I can't remember if they added the, uh, I don't think they added it yet. I need the, uh, we need a smudge tool. I can just smudge this out. And also, let's pick that. Did I give it red? I'm gonna kind of draw this in here. Or let's see. Pick color. Draw. Sample. Fix. You can see how tedious this gets. <sighs> hmm. I can't get precise with this. <laughs> Alright, All right, let's try that. I just wanted to kind of define this. Let's go. That's. I wanted to better define that. Let's, um sample like that value right there so I can just kind of draw a little bit of it. Undo that. So I can't see my cursor either. That's the thing. It'd be kind of cool to see cursor. That would help a little bit. I just want to try to define that edge so it picks it up. Ah, I keep on hitting the, the button. Let's see what we get there. Let's now take it back up. See if it kind of resolves the eye and gives me a mandible. Also, I don't know why. Oh, that's pretty cool. Let's see. 
That's pretty cool. Let's save on that. Yeah, this is uh, just like using it on my iPad. Just running it through a web browser. That's looking pretty cool. Nice. Viscom on Vision Pro. Pretty cool. All right.